Welcome to Dre Day in the Life. I'm Dre Thames, and today I'm working in Final Cut Pro 10 on my MacBook Pro. All right, um, I've looked through YouTube and I see a lot of videos about the 2019 MacBook Pro with uh, eight cores, the i9, 32 gigabytes of RAM, but I don't see any videos talking about the base model 15 inch MacBook Pro which comes with 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM. Uh, it comes with an i7 and six cores. So from what I'm hearing, um, I could have possibly upgraded the RAM, but I haven't seen any issues. I'm not editing 4K. This video I'm working on in particular uh, has no graphics, no titles, because I'm using, uh, I'm compiling clips from three previous episodes and just putting together uh, a snippet you know, the three episodes. So I'm just gonna show how long it takes to render, the render time. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. All I have is uh, music going behind it. Let me play We're about it. to play questions for Cassie. A broken clock is right how many times a day? One. You are right there. Then it's gonna be right for that one minute. <laughs> what? So is it electronic watch or that kind of watch? All right, and all, all of these uh, videos, two of them was edited in Premiere Pro, and the last one was edited, episode three was edited in Final Cut. Um, I might make a video on which one I like better. As you can see, what I'm working in now is probably pretty obvious, but um, so let's just go ahead and render the video. Let's see how long it takes. So I'm completely done. It's only a minute long because I plan on using it on Instagram and Instagram, you know, it's only limited to a minute. So we want to go export master file. And I'm thinking about not bumping it down to the, uh, to the, uh, H H dot two, six, four, just for the simple fact that it's already been bumped down once. So I'm thinking we might go Apple ProRes, but it's gonna be a larger file. If I go H.24, this thing is only 256 megabytes. Where if I go with um, the ProRes 422, it's two gigabytes. And then if I go with the ProRes 422 HQ, it's even more. So, I'm just, let me go, let's just go with the H.24. Now, you know what, for for um, for test purposes, for test sakes, let's go the 4.2, I mean, uh, Apple ProRes 422HQ, and let's see how long it takes to render it out. Season one, recap, saving it to my desktop. Ready, go. Uh, if you can see in the corner, a little render dot, but I mean, it's flying. It's only a minute long, so I'm really not expecting it to be too take too much. You know, no graphics, no titles. It's really just taking these clips and compiling them together, and we're done. Rendered file on a MacBook Pro. We're about to play questions for Cas. Okay, and I actually, the, the music in the background, I made that using Logic Pro 10. So as you can see, I'm all in on Apple and I'm rocking with Apple Heavy. But that was just to show the uh, MacBook Pro i7, six cores, 256 gigabytes of storage. I use iCloud for a lot of stuff. Um, I still got probably 130 gigabytes of free space, but I um, use iCloud a lot and um, Logic Pro takes up about 70 gigabytes with the uh, sound library. But that was just a quick render um, using the MacBook Pro, a minute long video just compiled together. The next time I, sh I do a full edit of uh, Questions for Cash, I'll probably record that render just to see how it is, because then I'll be using graphics and all of that stuff. But thanks for checking out the video.
Stay tuned for more. Dre Dan and Life. Check out Questions for Cash. Which invention allows a person to look right through a wall? You are wrong. Is a window. That's not a wall. That's a, that's a window. That's not they a wall. Put a window in a wall so you can look through it.